Hey, what's going on guys, it's Kira here and power supply is the most used equipment in electronics. Whether you are a hobbyist or a professional guy, you need a power supply. Well, everything needs a power supply. You can do this, this or this. So today in this video, we will be going to make this bench power supply which has more features than the traditional ones and it's much more cheaper than buying a regular power supply and it's all modular so you don't need to worry about it it's very easy to build this power supply is compact lightweight and still it can supply 36 volts at 6 amps the voltage and the current can be controlled by its digital potentiometer and additionally you can see how much power is being drawn from the power supply so let's see how it works. First, the AC power is converted into the DC power using the switching power supply. Then control circuit is added to get a desired control voltage and the current output. These components will generate heat during the power conversion. So we need fans to cool them. Now switching power supplies are commonly found in various electronics in various voltage and current ratings but we will need one with 36 volts and at least 7 amps like this you can also get these power supplies for free from the power bricks of old electronics like i got mine when i searching from my old sparks bin it is 31 volts and 7 amps so it will do the job and secondly we will need to control this power According to our need, for that we will going to use this B3606 power supply module. It has a maximum input of 36 volts at 6 amps, so it can output from 0 volts to 35 volts. For more details, check out my review on this module. Ok friends, so let's connect all together. So firstly, connect the output of switching power supply to the input of B3606 module the output comes out from here nextly use the Zener diode to power this 12 volt fan to connect this display to a desired location I made this extension cable and also connected a rotary encoder for up and down keys so I can quickly turn up and down the voltage with the help of it now you can control your power supply with a single digital potentiometer but for access of more features like setting the voltage and loading the voltage from the power supply I connected the set button and the ok button externally at this side if you missed any part of connections I have a detailed pictures on instructable links down below guys ok so now it's almost done so before gluing it all together make sure that there is a no dead shot at any ports and after ensuring that hot glue it all together and it's ready to use now connect the AC power set the voltage and press enable if you press this button again you'll see how much current is being drawn from the power supply and here is the power consumption of your connected circuit and here is the milliamps power capacity taken by the circuit this spring terminal connector right here works pretty good this terminal block doesn't have any screws you just have to press it to insert the wire okay guys so hope you enjoyed this power supply build please like this video if you did and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and don't forget to check out my other videos and as always thanks for watching guys peace goodbye